Hey yogis, welcome. This is your essential yoga video specifically for balance. So whether you are going to a power yoga class or any other style of yoga, um, chances are you're going to encounter some balance poses. So we're going to hit a few of the balance poses that you're going to want to know when you're stepping on the mat. So let's get started in downward facing dog. So come on down and step back and pedal out your legs. So we're starting in downward facing dog, getting right into it in this video. So you pedal out your legs. You may also notice your arms starting to warm up, your spine getting nice and long. Take a few more breaths just with movement. Maybe you hold one side and then shift to the next. Great, and then come to a still downward facing dog. So we think about balance in our yoga practice. It's all about turning on some of those stabilizer muscles. But before we do that, we need to warm up our body. So we'll take a round of sun A and a round of sun B. On your inhale, look to your hands. On your exhale, step to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Take your hands to your shins, halfway lift. Lengthen your chest off your thighs. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Invite your neck to stay long. On your exhale, forward fold, bow again. On your inhale, stand all the way up, circle your arms overhead. And on your exhale, forward fold, all the way back down, drop your head. Inhale to halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, Chaturanga Nandasana. Step back to high plank, hinge forward, lower down halfway. You can always drop your knees if you need to. Inhale to upward facing dog, press into the tops of your feet and your hands, move your chest forward and up, and exhale downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, and let your head move long towards your thumbs. Full breath in, and an open mouth exhale. Let's take one round of Sun B. On your inhale, look forward. On your exhale, step your right foot next to your right hand. Connect your back heel down. Inhale up to a warrior one. Heel to heel alignment in your feet. Turn your ribs and your armpits forward. Inhale, reach up through your fingers. And exhale, chaturanga. Plant your hands, step back, lower halfway. Upward facing dog, loop your shoulder heads back. Downward facing dog, lift your hips up high. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, look to your hands, then step your left foot between your hands. Right heel down, inhale on up to warrior one. Root strong in your back leg, lift your chest. Sink a little deeper into your front knee. Take a breath in, reach through your fingers. And on your exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower halfway. Upward facing dog, strong down through your hands and your feet. Downward facing dog, lift your hips up high. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, look to your hands. This time on your exhale, step both of your feet to your hands, forward fold. Halfway lift your chest, fold and bow, release your head. Heel toe your feet together Inhale to chair pose. Sit your hips back into an imaginary chair. Place your weight in your heels and reach your arms up. Draw your low belly up off your inner thighs. Good, continue to hug your inner thighs, lengthen through the sides of your waist, and let the base of your neck stay nice and soft. One more full breath in. And on your exhale, forward fold. Heel to your feet, hips width distance. Move your knees a couple times and let your head drop. You might already notice that your body's warming up, getting ready for some of the balance poses that we will find in just a moment. Good. Plant your hands on your shins, halfway lift, neutralize your spine. Forward fold, release your head and come on up. So I'll step here to the middle of the mat so you can see me a little bit better. 
sink back into your chair pose. On your inhale, reach your arms up. Then on your exhale, take your hands to your heart. So this is a foundational place to be. Hug in through your inner thighs, lengthen through your spine. We'll take a twist. So turn to your right, hook your left elbow on your right thigh. Draw both sides of your waist long, so your spine gets long when you inhale. Then turn on your exhale, press into your palms, take your top shoulder back so you can gaze to the ceiling or just gaze to the side. You're doing great. Take one more full inhale and exhale. Then return to center. Inhale to chair pose, unwind your arms, reach your fingertips up and exhale, twist on the other side, hands to your heart and hook your right elbow to your left thigh. Maintain even pressure through your feet. From your tail to your crown, lengthen on inhale, press into your palms, twist on your exhale. Good, one more full breath. And return to the middle. Inhale, chair pose, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands to your heart, stand up, shake out your legs before we move on. Good. So we'll use everything we built in chair to come into our first single leg balance pose. On your inhale, chair pose. Sit back into your hips, reach your arms up. And on your exhale, eagle on the right. Swing your right arm underneath your left and bind at your elbows and wrists. If this feels hard to do at the wrists, take your hands to your shoulders. So you can stay right here with your legs in chair or add eagle legs. Stack your right thigh on top of your left. You can kick stand your toe down to the ground. You could also use a block or a pillow if you needed a place to kick stand your toe. You can also let your toe hover or squeeze your inner thighs and wrap your foot around your ankle. Hug to the midline and root down, and then lengthen up through your crown. There should be a lot of heat building in your body. And you might notice that there's a little bit of side to side movement or your foot is shifting. That's a-okay. We want that to happen. Our brain is trying to figure out how to keep us balanced here in the center. Great, on your next inhale, unwind everything and return your hands to your heart. <sighs> Great, let's take the other side. Chair pose on your breath in. Sit back in your hips, reach your arms up, and then we'll take eagle on the left. Left arm underneath the right, cross at the elbows and wrists, or bear hug. And then if you want to add the eagle legs as well, stack your left thigh on top of your right thigh, hug your inner thighs together. And again, you can kickstand your toe, you can let it float, or you can wrap it behind your ankle. Draw in, hug into the midline, root into your grounded foot, and then use that stability to lengthen your spine, continue to breathe. Eagle creates a compression in our major joints. So you might feel that it's heat building, there's a little bit of tension there, but that's what makes it feel so good when we release it. So stick with it, yogis, just a couple more breaths. Good, on your next inhale, release everything. And return your hands to your heart. Great work. So now we'll move into poses that will start with just one foot on the ground. So root into your left foot. Lift your right knee and shine your fingertips down to the ground. This is foundational and you can come right back here anytime that you need to. If you have to touch a toe down to regain your balance, go for it. Just start here in your single leg mountain pose. Great. If you'd like to move on, draw your hands to your heart. Make sure that your grounded leg is really strong then shift back into airplane pose. So it's a variation of warrior three. Stamp your foot on the wall behind you. So make your lifted leg just as active as your grounded leg. 
Wrap muscle to bone so that your leg muscles are helping hold your leg bones and you're not putting all of that pressure on your back. If you find a little shake, a little quake in your grounded foot, that's a-okay. If you're feeling stable here, send your arms back into airplane arms. Feel the inseam of your lifted leg roll up towards the ceiling and find a cobra sensation in your heart. Really great job. On your next inhale, come back up and plant your foot down. Great job. Let's move to the other side. Shift your weight into your right foot. Shine your fingers to the ground and lift your left knee. Again, this is foundational. You can be right here and you can return to this pose anytime you want to just turn on your balance. Great, if you're feeling stable, we'll come into airplane pose. Shift at your hips. Extend your left leg behind you as if you could push it into the wall behind you. Make your grounded leg firm. Draw your heart forward. If you're feeling balanced here, strengthen your legs and spread your fingertips back. Feel one long line of energy from your back heel through your crown. Yeah, feel every single muscle kind of wiggle, wobble, shake a little bit as you hold. Just a few more breaths, you're doing great. Really nice. On your inhale, come on back up. And on your exhale, plant your foot. Shift a little bit side to side. Let your ankles get some relief before we move on. Good, so let's move on to dancer pose. We'll start in single leg mountain pose like we did before. Root down into your left foot, lift your right knee, bring your right elbow into your waist. I like to plant my left hand on my hip just so I have a place for it to go and I feel stable. From here, swing your right foot back, drop your hand and grab onto the arch of your foot. Hug your inner thighs together. This might be where you want to stay. If you'd like to move on, kick your foot into your hand and reach your left arm forward. Continue to draw your right knee in line with your hip. So if you feel it winging out to the side, hug it in. Activate your right toes. So your lifted toes reach towards the ceiling. That'll help you turn on the back line of your right leg. So that the leg is holding itself a little bit more, taking some of the pressure off your back. Good, two more breaths. Good, inhale, rise up, and exhale, release your right foot. Shake it out side to side if you need to. Let's take the other side. So root down into your right leg, and lift your left knee. Bring your left elbow into your waist, palm face up, right hand to your hips so you can find some stability. Make your grounded leg nice and strong, zip up through your belly, and then swing your left foot back and grab the arch side of your foot. This just helps your shoulders stay open as you transition. Good, you can hug right here to the center. Find your balance here. Or to move on, kick your hand into your foot and reach your right arm forward. Hug your inner thighs gently so that your knee tracks in line with your hip and lift your chest up as if you could pull your ribs away from your low back. It'll keep your low back a little happier. Strengthen your grounded leg, draw your belly in, and continue to activate through your lifted foot. Good, just a few more breaths. Great work. Inhale, come on back up. And exhale, release. Move your ankles just a couple times to relieve any tension that built up in your feet. 
Okay, with both feet on the ground again, we'll find mountain pose with our arms extended down. Shine your fingertips to the floor, zip the low belly, lift your heart. So in Eagle, in our airplane, in our dancer, we did a lot of internal rotation of our hips. So let's just open our hip up into a tree pose. So root into your left leg, turn out your right hip, and then your foot can either come to a kickstand, you can slide your foot up to your lower leg, or bring your foot all the way up to your upper leg. Press your foot and your leg together firm. Root down into the big toe mound and the heel of your grounded leg. So that's where we find a lot of stability in your big toe mound and your heel, and then your kickstand is your little baby toe. So you might notice that your foot wobbles a little side to side, it's totally normal. Then lift your chest up, either hands to heart, hands down at your sides, or you can extend your tree branches up and out. Good. Continue to hug your foot into your leg, root down into your standing leg and grow tall through your crown. Just a few more breaths. One more inhale, and on your exhale, return your hands to your heart and release your foot. Great job. We'll take tree pose on the other side. Right foot is your foundation. Open up your left hip. Again, foot can become a kickstand. So if you're just starting with balance, this is a great place to be. You'll get all of the balance challenge, but you'll also feel a little bit more stable. If you'd like to take it higher, bring your foot to your lower leg or zip your foot all the way up to your inner thigh. Push your foot and your leg together firm. Root and strengthen your grounded leg. Lift your chest and your crown. And then if you'd like to take even a different arm expression on this side, you can send your arms up, you can shine your fingertips down, you could even interlace your hands behind your back and get a chest expansion. Get creative with your tree. Take a few more breaths here. It's always okay if you come out of the pose to just jump right back in. It's not about holding this pose forever or having perfect balance. Instead, challenge your balance, and it's that challenge that helps you change. Good. Take one more inhale. And on your exhale, release your foot down. Really nice work, you can shake it off. Sit to the top of your mat. We'll take a sun A to return to our downward facing dog. On your inhale, reach up. On your exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift your chest, breathe in. Chaturanga, you can always skip chaturanga if you're not in the mood for it that day and just hold plank. Upward facing dog, press into your hands and feet. Downward facing dog, lift from your hip hinge. Your chest and your head will follow. So because we did a lot of balance, we have turned on and made our stabilizers work really hard in our hips. So we'll stretch that out. On your inhale, look to your hands. And on your exhale, come into half pigeon. Bring your right knee up to your right wrist. Your ankle might come to the opposing wrist, but for most of us, that won't happen, and that's totally okay. Tuck your back toes and scoot your seat back until you can come down on the ground. For a lot of folks, this is tough to do. So if you notice that your right hip is way up or you have a lot of pressure in your right knee, grab either a really firm pillow or a yoga block if you have one and slide it right underneath your tush. You can always stay up or come down into a sleeping pigeon. So if you're coming down into a sleeping pigeon, just crawl your elbows forward or lay your head all the way down. So it's important to remember in a pigeon pose that this is a lot of work on our hip. And if you carry a lot of tightness in your IT band or in your stabilizing muscles in your hip, you might notice that this causes some pressure in your knee. So if that's happening to you, you can always slide your heel a little closer to your groin 
or flip onto your back and take a figure four where you're gonna get all of the beautiful stretch of pigeon with a little bit less pressure on the rest of your joints. But if you're feeling good right here, just take a few more breaths. Good. Walk up into your hands, tuck your back toes, and then just step back to downward facing dog. You'll feel some relief on that right hip. Great, so let's take the other side. Gaze to your hands, and on your exhale, swing your left leg forward into pigeon. So again, your knee is going to come to your wrist. The ankle might come to the opposing wrist, but more likely your heel is going to be close in towards your groin. Tuck your back toes just so you can slide yourself back. Untuck your toes when you're ready to ground. If you feel a lot of pressure in your knee or your butt doesn't want to touch the ground, grab your pillow or your block and slide it underneath your hip. Move your chest forward and then come down to your elbows. If you'd like to lay your chest and your forehead all the way down, you're welcome to do that. And remember, it's your knee and your hip that get to decide how you feel in this pose. So it's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels. So if your knee or your hip is screaming at you, flip onto your back and just take a variation of this pose that's on your back. Good. Just a few more breaths. Tuck your back toes, walk up into your hands, then step back, downward facing dog. Now your left and your right hip should feel more even with one another. Take one more breath here and downward facing dog. And on your exhale, come down to your knees. Sit back and then recline all the way down onto your back. Good. Great, once you're all the way down onto your back, draw your right knee up towards your armpit, interlace your hands, and squeeze your shin in towards your armpit. Good, take one more breath here. Then exhale into a supine twist. Tuck your left hip underneath your right. Bring your right knee over and extend your right arm out. Your heart will turn towards the ceiling. And if both shoulders are down on the ground, it's okay if your knee hovers. If your knee and one shoulder is down on the ground, it's okay if the opposing shoulder hovers. What you wanna look for is a couple points of connection on the ground so that you don't feel like you're tipsy or in limbo. Let your body ground in this twist. Great, come back to the center. Extend your right leg long and hug your left knee in. So you can interlace your hands right at your shin and draw it up towards your armpit. We're just continuing here to stretch out some of the muscles that worked really hard to help us balance. Great. On the next exhale, Tuck your right hip underneath your left and twist. So again, both shoulders can be down on the ground and your knee hovers, or you bring your knee all the way down and the opposite shoulder hovers. But what you wanna look for is a couple points of connection on the earth so that you don't feel unstable, you feel grounded here. Then just soften your breath and let gravity do the work. Good, return to center and hug both knees to your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. 
If you've got the time today, I encourage you to sprawl out, take maybe five or 10 minutes in Shavasana. If you've got to move on with your day really quickly, then just grab behind your thighs, roll yourself up to a seat. Great job, Yogi. Thank you so much for joining me for this Essential Balance class. If you liked this Essential Yoga class, then I hope you join me for my entire series. And until the next video, namaste. We at Wellness Plus specialize in all things health and wellness ranging from yoga and fitness to massage and ASMR. Whether you are looking to target specific areas of attention or want to enhance your general self-care routine, we provide the tools you need to feel better, look better, and live better. We have courses for every level, whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro. Our courses provide a wide range in difficulty to accommodate your evolving flow. Wellness Plus is available on Amazon, which you can stream from your home on your phone, tablet, or TV. Join Wellness Plus today and get your first seven days free.